the opportunities that I can't take because of my condition, um, it, it's, it's, it's upsetting. Sophie has cystic fibrosis and has been taking the nice approved drugs since November last year. As I started to continue to take the drug on a regular basis, everything was new and you know, I could smell things again and I wasn't coughing every day. And it was just, yeah, it, it was it was amazing, really. And I had the energy to do things in my personal life, which I didn't before. Because of the new medication, Sophie now has the energy to help boyfriend Dylan with some DIY, something she says she just couldn't manage before taking the new medication. It keeps me healthy and well for longer. It means I can live a longer, happier life without feeling the implications of the illness that I have. Um, and I think that is the biggest thing to me. And that, and that goes for anybody who gets the benefits from these drugs, is that potentially they wouldn't have the long lasting effects, which means that you can go on with your life as normal as possible and do the things that you want to do. And, and I think that's really important for people's mental well-being and for their physical well-being as well. Sophie was one of the first islanders to benefit from the rollout of the NICE approved drugs and she will continue to receive them. But for those with more expensive treatments, the waits will be longer than first thought. If we look back at why they were introduced in the, in the first place, um, our health service, like our harbours, looks great from a distance, but a, a closer look reveals uh, years of underinvestment. And in terms of our health service, that means 3,000 patients, 700 year on year, are receiving uh, older, suboptimal, cheaper drugs. Guernsey's politicians have reassessed their key priorities, choosing to focus their finances on the response and recovery from COVID-19 and sorting out the future of secondary education. It is just a deferral and it is about trying to get a balance here because by, by doing that we've got f funds available to look at the um, increased investment in waiting times and also in mental health, both of which are within the government work plan.